You're an FAI man, this weather. I'm an FAI man. I've been well, an FAI man for 25 years, uh, working in a voluntary capacity. And 13 years ago, then I got a full-time position within the organisation, and uh, it's a great place to work. And, I and what do you do with them? I do all the underage development. I also. Uh, I'll be responsible for the John Giles Foundation. Johnny uh, put his name to a foundation three years ago and we fundraise around the country to uh, raid bad needy funds for grassroots projects throughout the country and Johnny Giles is a legend and it's great to deal with him. We had a big event two weeks ago. We, we, in fairness to the Castle Court and the Corcoran family here, they teamed up with us uh, at the foundation with Kevin Kilban uh, doing the race and with Johnny Giles here as well for Down Syndrome Ireland and it was a phenomenal success and it was great to bring two legends of the game to uh, my hometown. Special event here tonight? Very special, very special for me, you know, born, born and raised in Westport, come from a big soccer family and it's nice, nights like this you think of your late mum and dad and the influence they had on me as growing up as a young person and you know having family here and friends and the minister Michael Ring and and what the club is trying to achieve, and it's going to be a legacy, and it's going to be great for the people of Westport and the surrounding areas of a first-class facility, you know. And it's very important because the young children of the town deserves it, and it's great to be able to be part of, uh, you know, helping them, you know, uh, fulfil their dreams, for a better word. What's the development consist of? I think it's three full-size pitches, uh, dressing rooms, car parking, everything else. So, I mean, we've played the sport for three years. we played out at the point of the key. Uh, I was actually with one of the founder members of the old sports park, Sun, who's originally from Westbrook, here in Brennan there on Tuesday night at the match. And uh, he was telling me great stories about his dad and his local committee when the sports park was brought into fruition in 1953. So he's just, you know, making the point it's great now to see the new breed of people within Westport uh, being responsible for this excellent facility. And who's here tonight? Uh, we were lucky enough to have uh, Martin O'Neill, International Manager, with John Tracy, CEO of the Sports Council, and John Delaney, CEO of the FEI, and our own Minister, uh, Minister for Sports and Tourism, Michael Ring. And Michael Ring has been a good friend to me for many of the year, but, you know, our paths has crossed a lot now, and... I'm very proud to go around the country and seeing the work Michael does as Minister and uh, it's great coming from this small little town in the west of Ireland, a smashing little town. And you played soccer with Westport United yourself? Well, yes, rumour has it. I was <laughs> centre forward. Uh, I did, I played for about 20 years underage, but I also got into coaching as well at a very young age and in 19, I think it was 1983, our girls under 15 soccer team won the first ever national title, which was a great thing to be part of. Uh, Kieran Nahora and I brought in then the Westport National Ladies Five side and with teams like Arsenal and the best teams around the country, you know, taking part in that. So How long did it last for that, that? 17 years. 17 years? 17 years. And did it run out of steam or what happened? Or? No, it didn't. I moved to Dublin and unfortunately I just didn't have the time and commitment. And you had nobody to take it over down here? No, no? unfortunately no. not. Uh, look, it's something we might look at again when the new facility comes on board. Okay. Because everywhere you go around the country, people will always uh, remind you of the wonderful times people had in Westport for the five state tournament. And uh, what do you think of the Irish team at the moment? I think, uh, you know, it, it's work in progress. Uh, Martin spoke about it tonight. Momentum, we had a hiccup last week in Scotland. But I think, you know, it's in our own hands because, you know, we have five games next year, four of them are at home. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I just hope for the country's sake and for the young boys and girls who are here in this room that we do qualify because qualifying for major tournaments is, is special and it brings the whole country together and I was lucky enough to be in Poland okay the results didn't go our way but to be part of that uh, was a great you know great uh, great occasion and uh, I think Martin is a very passionate manager uh, on Tuesday night against USA he tried a lot of the younger players who did very well so look He's a lot to think about next year, but he's assembled a great squad and there seems to be great uh, excitement around the place. So, I mean, I wish him the well, you know, all the best for next year. What do you think of League, League of Ireland soccer? League of Ireland soccer, I work, uh, that's one of my jobs, the National Under-19 League, probably one of the best things the FEI has done in the last number of years because we're bringing the best players together playing at an underage level. 
the senior game, you know, the cup final, uh, Derry City and Sligo played uh, before 17,000 people. It's great. We don't get enough people to come out and watch the games, which is unfortunate. They're too busy watching the overseas clubs. Well, that's it. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's kind of disappointing, you know. Can you explain that to me? Why does that happen? If I, if I had the answer to that, I'd tell you one thing. I'd be, you know, but all we can do is keep promoting it within the clubs, working with the clubs to try and, you know, get the product out there because it's an excellent product. And it well, they have some great matches. They're watching their Friday evenings and bits and the football yeah. is better than what you see in the English stuff. Absolutely. But you know what I mean? Look, I mean, we have to work with the clubs, you know, to, you know, make the local communities more aware. But if you just look around the job they've done in Galway, they've promoted now to the Premier League, Sligo Rovers, top side. I live in Derry, they have a great product up there. And then you've all the big clubs in Dublin and Cork City this year. What, what a fantastic mm. job they did, uh, you know, pushing Dundalk all the way and the work Stephen Kenny has done at Dundalk. So look, it's work in progress and hopefully we can maximise people to go out and watch the game because it is a good product. And you cover the whole country now? I covered the whole country. I wouldn't do as much travelling. I'm getting a little bit older, maybe a little bit wiser. Uh, so I wouldn't travel the whole, you know, the country like I used to, but like I'd be in contact with people around the country on a daily basis and mm. just keeping an eye and making sure things are done right and assisting clubs where we can. And that's primarily, you know, the job I do. And I just love doing it. And it's great coming from a town like Westport and to work for a national mm. body like the FBI. And you haven't forgot the old sad, no? Never forget it. Westport is in, as I would say, it's in my DNA. 